Grandmas are supposed to bake cookies with their grandkids, while grandpas are supposed to sneak them that ice cream cone before dinner, right? Well, while sweet treats are traditional, grandparents can also choose to champion healthy eats for treats. Jaina Chalma is here to serve up some suggestions. Jaina is a registered dietitian with Metro Health. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So, isn't a healthy diet really the parent's responsibility? Us grandmas don't have to worry about it? Well, typically, the caregiving does fall on the parents, but as we all know, grandparents are highly involved, so it's still important for them to learn how to provide healthy meals and snacks for their grandchildren. Okay, but grandparents, I mean, we like to spoil those grandkids. <laughs> and we feel that's our position in life. So what do you have to say about that? Well, you still can, but <laughs> it doesn't mean that you can't also be providing opportunities for them to learn healthy behaviors, like healthy eating. Okay, so can you give us some examples of what kind of healthy behaviors that we can model that they'll pick up then? Sure, so in general, even if you're offering sweet treats to spoil them, <laughs> you still wanna show them what balanced intake looks like. It's not that you have to follow a diet, I don't even like to use that word, but general healthy eating. So aiming to include a lot of plant-based foods into your diet, like five servings of fruits and vegetables at minimum, mm -hmm. limiting some of the foods that are really high in sodium or concentrated sugars, things like that as well. How about portions? Exactly, so you might know that most of our portions, especially outside of the home, are oversized quite a bit. The super size <laughs> that McDonald's likes to do, right? <laughs> exactly. So that's an important skill that you can also teach your grandchildren by modeling that behavior and providing the same for them as well. And how about how you prepare the foods? Yes, so we want to practice healthy cooking methods like grilling or baking as opposed to frying where we can add hundreds of calories and fat without even being aware. Yeah, it's so easy when you're trying to do it that way. Now, you know, for some grandparents, even doing those things you've described as modeling behaviors might be a big change for them. And it's definitely in probably a big change for the grandkids. So do you have any tips for getting little children to try new things and be willing to have an open mind about it? Sure, so the research shows us that kids often need to try something between 10 and 12 times before they really know if they like it or not. So it's not that we want to force them to eat plant-based foods, but we want to offer them frequently and be patient as well. So encourage them to try it without forcing them. The other thing, eating those foods in front of them might pique their curiosity, so eventually mm -hmm. they try them on their own. Yeah, I've got a granddaughter, she does ask, and her mom was very good. She started out with her eating salads when she was like just starting to eat food, <laughs> and she likes salads, so That's it's great. not an impossibility. <laughs> I'm here to attest to that. Mm -hmm. So even though we're modeling, we're trying to have good foods and good portion size and, and prepare the right way and all of that, that doesn't mean we can't do baking on Saturdays, does it? Of course not, but I would encourage you to include your grandchildren in the process, whether you're baking brownies or preparing a side or a salad for dinner, include them so that they're interested and they understand where their food comes from. And food comes from the ground. You could plant a garden with them next right. year too, huh? That's a great activity to share. And they could pick their dinner. Exactly. I would that, that would get <laughs> kids involved, so. Many memories are made over meals, and grandparents can help make sure they're not only heartfelt, but also healthy. My thanks to Jaina for a healthy serving of great information. To learn more, call Metro Health at 216-778-7800 or log on to www.metrohealth.org. Next, 